In the last video, we had a look at how to create a new composite in order to be able to create the external wall. And in this video, we're going to do the same thing for our intertenancy walls. Uh, we're going to create these as composites as well, just a different type of composite to be able to um, make it work with a bit more acoustic separation and also to be able to give the ability to, to allow for um, services such as electrical cabling to be done without needing to chase the block work. So we're going to uh, pick up the settings of our um, exterior wall and we'll use that to make our new composite. Again we're going to duplicate this and we're going to call this um, plus, or we'll call it party. Just to keep it simple. And now it doesn't really matter what's inside and outside. The reality is that they're both inside and for, for this one that we're doing. So we're just going to duplicate what's here. So we have to remember the structure that we've got. We've got a double concrete block because we're not showing double block. We're actually showing um, the two skins. The batten is, we'll leave that at 35. The reality is we could make that smaller, but we'll leave it at 35. And that will mean that if something happens that we need to, for instance, increase the size of the plasterboard more than 10 mil, um, it's not going to eat into our space anymore. What was that one called? Plasterboard wall. Let's find that in the list. If we're not sure, start typing it in. And it's going to reduce the amount of different types that we've got. Uh, so let's use that one there. So we see that we're getting the same sort of effect as the other ones. Um, what we should definitely be doing is making this a finish. Making this a finish. And that will hopefully help to... Um, to make the other one work better as well. So we might just quickly change that one. Or it's off the screen again. Great. Good. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing as before. We'll just select one at a time just to make sure that we're not getting ourselves confused. Go into the setting, we're going to change that to the composite, we're going to choose the right one. And in this case, what do we want to do? We want to make sure it's still in the center. That means it's going to increase both direction, that's fine. But most importantly, the concrete block itself is remaining the same. And now that we've updated those um, finish types, we can see that it's now intersecting a lot better. So that's working the way that we'd want it to. Now, it's still not perfect because uh, this isn't an exterior wall, so we see that the way the intersection's happening isn't quite right, but it's fine for now. We're going to update both of these. Now this one's going to be different. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about how this one works. We could do it the same way as that one, but we'll leave it for now. And then, yeah, we've, we're now ready to start to do our interior planning because now we've got the structure working the right way, and therefore that's giving us a defined interior distance which hopefully isn't going to change because we've been very generous with our structural allowances.